Hi there, my name is Miss Kelly. I am a virtual content specialist for social studies grades three through five. And in this video, we are going to be talking about how you can prepare for grade six. How can you get ready for all the exciting social studies topics you'll be exploring in sixth grade? In sixth grade, you'll be learning about the Eastern Hemisphere. You just wrapped up your hard work studying the Western Hemisphere. So it's really exciting that next year you get to discover the other side of the world. So in this video, we will start by previewing what you're going to learn in social studies next year. After that, we're gonna talk about some things you can do over the summer to grow as a historian. First, let's talk about the units you will be participating in in sixth grade. In unit one, geography of the Eastern hemisphere, you'll be asking the question, does geography determine development? So just like you were hard at work learning about the Western hemisphere and its geography this year, you're gonna apply that same skill next year, except you're gonna be learning about the Eastern hemisphere. And specifically, you're gonna be thinking about how geography can affect the development of societies. Next, in unit two, you will be studying first humans, the Neolithic revolution and the early river valley civilizations. And you will be asking the question, to what degree does geography determine culture? In this unit, you will get to learn about the very first humans and how the geography or the makeup of the land affected the way that their culture developed and how they lived. Next, in unit three, you will learn about comparative world religions. You will ask yourself, what role do belief systems play in society? In this unit, you're gonna be learning about the religions of the world and how that affects the society. And it's really great to learn about all these different cultures and religions so that you can compare them. And you will find similarities and differences across these world religions, as well as how they play a role in society. Next, in unit four, you will be comparing classical civilizations in the Eastern Hemisphere. You'll be learning about ancient Greece, ancient Rome, and the ancient Islamic civilizations. And you will be asking, why do civilizations rise and fall? So what makes a civilization grow and become successful? And what makes a civilization fall and cease to exist? Finally, you will study the Mediterranean world and interactions across the Eastern hemisphere. You will ask the question, how can power, wealth, and religion influence change and development? So you will think about how, who holds the power, who has the money and what religion people believe affects the change and development of societies and civilizations. Wow, you're gonna learn so many cool, fun and exciting things in sixth grade. Now let's talk about what we can do over the summer to get ready. First, I wanna talk about what you can read. This first book right here is Exploring Our World, People, Places, and Cultures. In this book, you're going to get a really great overview of the Eastern Hemisphere, the types of people who live there, and how their geography affects their culture. Next, I recommend the Kids Book of World Religions. This gives you such an exciting and fascinating overview into the world religions and how they are similar and how they are different. Next, I have two books, one on Asia and one on Europe. And these books, a true book, The Seven Continents, are really great series for learning about the different continents in our world. But I specifically recommend the Asia and the Europe book because you will be studying about all the different early civilizations that took place in these areas. Next, this one is really exciting, but this eyewitness book on ancient Rome is so much fun to read. I know that so many of you enjoy reading about ancient Rome in different historical fantasy fiction books, and this one in particular will just fascinate you. It is so exciting to learn about ancient cultures.
And on that note, this book on ancient China is also such a good read. You'll learn so many exciting and interesting facts about the development of China. Next, I have a book on the Byzantine Empire, which is the society that shaped the world. Reading this book is going to give you such great practice in thinking about how different cultures and geographies can affect the development of our world. And last but not least, I have a world atlas. Highly, highly recommend reading through this world atlas so that you can familiarize yourself with the different parts of our world and the geography and the makeup of those different parts of the world so you can start making connections to how it affects culture. All right, now let's talk about what you can do. I have two really great recommendations for you. The first is visiting the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and I specifically recommend checking out the ancient Near Eastern art and the Greek and Roman art sections of this museum. You will see so many really exciting artifacts and art pieces that directly connect to the societies you'll learn about in social studies this year. And next, I recommend visiting the Museum of Natural History, specifically the Gardner D. Stout Hall of Asian Peoples. There, again, you will be able to check out so many interesting artifacts that connect directly to the people you will learn about in social studies this year. So see if there's a parent or guardian who can take you. Maybe you can even go with a friend. And I also recommend that while you're there, take a picture of the two or three most exciting artifacts that you found so that you can show your social studies teacher next year. All right, what can you explore? First, I have a really, really great overview article on the early Islamic world. Here is the web address. Feel free to take a screenshot of this page so that you can find it. But this gives you just a really good overview into Islam and you can just learn more about this culture. That way, when your teacher starts teaching it, you can make lots of really great connections. I also recommend researching the Stone Age. The Stone Age is so fascinating. And if you go to Britannica Kids, they have so many awesome pictures and information about the Stone Age. And here is the link for that. And last but not least, National Geographic Kids has 10 facts about ancient Rome. This is gonna be so fun and so interesting, just like that ancient Rome book. I highly recommend you check out this culture. It was such an exciting culture. Also, feel free to search any of the keywords from the units you will be studying to see if you can learn more about that topic over the summer. Fifth graders, I hope that you have a wonderful summer. Congratulations on starting middle school this fall. You are going to do such a wonderful job and it's because you worked so hard this year. Thank you so much, bye.